So the A400M has been finally added. This is a very cool cargo plane. It's kind of the in-between of a C-130 and a C-17. Bigger than the C-130, smaller than the C-17. Now, I wasn't gonna make a video on this plane at all, but I just realized something and I feel like I have to, in good conscience, make a video because I don't want you guys to waste your money. So I'm gonna take off here. We're at Augusta Regional. And if you can see already, I'm facing like half of the runway. You'll have an idea of why this is pretty bad. Anyway, we're full flaps. Let's go. You can't really do a static takeoff, which I already realized. When you go full throttle, I'm holding the brakes completely right right now and you just start moving forward already pay attention to our airspeed here and see at what speed we take off airspeed didn't even really register and we're off the ground at 35 knots this is no headwind no nothing we're, we're flying at 37 knots right now we're flying at 30 knots we're not even registering airspeed and we're flying. If you can't tell already, this is why I felt bad not making a video considering we're going under 30 knots right now in a pretty large cargo plane. And another thing I noticed when you slew mode around to like position yourself wherever you want, not that this is a big deal, but you're underground and then once you get rid of it, you're back above. Okay, let's go zero flaps. This plane costs $30, don't buy it. That's all, that's, that's the point of the video. If you wanna leave now, I understand. Okay, here's a no flap takeoff. 87 knots. I'm at more than almost four times the speed. Almost four times the speed to take off with no flaps versus full flaps. This is quite interesting. Uh, that was all at 50% fuel, 32% payload. Let's go full payload. Full fuel will be overweight by 50,000 pounds and we'll try it again. Let's see how it performs now. There's 30 knots, 55. And we're off the ground at like 40,000 pounds overweight and we're flying at 50 knots. And for our next test of stupidity, we're here on top of a helipad in Japan. I don't know how tall this building is, but uh, pretty tall. In reality, it should not be able to take off no matter what, but uh, we're gonna give it a go here. Let's do a semi-static takeoff and we're probably barely gonna drop when we go off this. And as I thought, we lost about zero altitude there. Oh my gosh, but we're... What is this? This thing confuses me, man. Okay, since that was weird, I'm just gonna do it again, just to prove the point. And there we go. So like I was saying, this plane makes absolutely no sense. Let's turn around and land it up here. I'll try to do it with no headwind, no nothing. We'll see what happens. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. It feels very weird to fly. Like something is horribly wrong with the flight model and I don't know what it is. And now I'm about to fall backwards again. And I mean, our front gear is... <laughs> is off the front of this building. Uh, but we kind of just floated up there. I wanted to take a look at the interior. Overall, it actually looks pretty good. I will pull up a picture of a real interior just to check. We got a little laptop back here. Oh, they can see the nav stuff too. That's pretty cool. Can we get in the, in the cargo area? Can we open the cargo area? That is an important question. Okay, so where, where would the cargo opening stuff be? Okay, this says doors switch, which I, I cannot move. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, that opened the side door. Okay, kind of cool. And then, oh, here we go. Now we're in. Ramp and door. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, there comes the Humvee. That's kind of cool. For a $30 add-on, the textures in here aren't quite what they should be. You have to be kind of rough on a $30 add-on. But, but even on the inside, not everything works. I don't know. This is quite wacky. $30? That's very concerning. Let's see if this can take off with the, uh, with the cargo door open. If it can't, I'm going to be disappointed. No, I'm kidding, but... I do want to see. Oh, yeah, we're moving. Oh, yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Let's check one last thing. I'm going to do a normal landing, normal speed. I'm not going to go as slow as I can, and we'll see what happens. Maybe 120-ish knots, and I'm leaving the cargo bay open. I don't care. This is, I think, a 2,000-ish foot runway, if I'm correct. There's down. Can we stop? Not really. So at least that is somewhat realistic. Okay, now we have fallen through the runway. Okay, second try. I want to say the reverse thrust worked, but it wasn't even noticeable really, so. And what I'm starting to realize also is it feels 
normal-ish with any amount of flaps except the most aggressive. Something is wrong with the engineering of the flaps for sure. Uh, but either way, let's try this landing. We'll do external view this time. There's zero flaps. There's a rough landing, brakes, and that's reverse thrust. I know I'm way off the runway, but it feels like nothing. I will give this plane a three out of 10. It is not worth 30 bucks. Realistically, this plane feels like the SU-57, the first A-10, maybe not quite that bad, but it's pretty bad. Two out of 10, three out of 10 at best. End of story, don't buy it.